welcome welcome to my channel how are you all guys doing i am doing a beauty haul because i want to share so many products with you that i have acquired over the last um maybe two months it's not just the stuff that i have bought some of the things that were given to me as a present let me just run you through what i've got maybe some of these products you guys have tried and i haven't so i would love to hear your opinions and reviews of them so let's just jump in and I'm gonna start with one product that I am seriously 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 in love with if you have sensitive skin if you have red skin or you know rosacea if you have anything like that this mask have done wonders to my skin this is from Shantikai I hope I say it right and this is the jasmine and lily healing mask and it comes in a beautiful glass jar um, I have probably used half of it already it's just a white very creamy very cooling mask and actually in August I have experienced something that I have never Never experienced before we were away in Spain and I woke up with a really really sore throat and I don't just say a sore throat that you know you're like oh it's a bit sore meh but no it was like I couldn't even swallow water it was that bad the temperature was rising so I went to the pharmacy explained the situation to the pharmacist <clears throat> and she gave me some antibiotics and I was like hmm I don't usually take antibiotics I tried to avoid them and I didn't take them for a while but then I was in such a bad state and feeling so horrible on a vacation that I was like, well, you know what, I'm just going to do it. My throat was fine in about two days, but then I came back and my skin had absolutely the worst reaction I have ever, ever seen. I had breakouts all over my face, all over my back, on my chest, and they were like tiny little white pimples that... It was just horrible. Good job I didn't have any shoots those days because I was just devastated and this saved my life. It moisturized my skin, it calmed the redness down because obviously I had to take some medication against that because it was sort of an allergic reaction um, in a mixture of me being in the sun as well. So this is incredible. Vitamin B5, it has chamomile, it has my mimosa, I think that's how you, I don't know, pronounce it. It's quite pricey, it's about 50 pounds actually for this mask, but it's worth every penny and I love doing this mask, especially now in winter. I think I will have to repurchase if I will run out of it, I will cry. The other one that I have tried is the Kiehl's Turmeric and Cranberry Seed Mask. I like an exfoliating and cleansing mask and this one got quite a lot of good reviews, so I was like, well, I can't stay away, I have to try it. So it's this really orange, obviously it has turmeric, um, color but it also has bits of dried cranberries in it so when you massage it in you exfoliate your skin at the same time so it kind of works as a as a scrub but also a mask and um, it brightens your skin kind of like energizes if you have any kind of dullness on your skin you feel a bit tired definitely really enjoying that sometimes I think it's good to use two masks I love multi-masking I will put like a cleansing one on my forehead and on my nose and on my chin area and a moisture some one on my cheeks especially now that they're going funny and dry let's continue with the masks i have some more masks this is the pharmacy hydrating coconut gel mask there are actually three different masks there is a soothing one brightening and deep moisture i have not tried this before but i'm super excited to try them uh, this one has um rich mineral kale and then it, this one has cucumber and this has broccoli so very vegetable-y kind of thing can't wait to try them they got really good reviews as well there are no parabens um, no coloring it's not tested on animals which we love we love things like that I have a cleansing oil which I'm actually really excited to use because I have not um, used this before I have shown you in my skincare routine how much I love the Emma Hardy um, Moringa Balm love using that especially in winter I always try to use oil based cleansers oil based based you know moisturizers things like that this is the Sunday Riley CEO so it's the vitamin C and E micro dissolving cleansing oil so it's meant to you know rinse away all the makeup declog your pores and you know get rid of that excess oil or any kind of micro pollution that you have on your face I don't know if any of you guys have tried it before I love Sunday Riley um, obviously 
Okay, I have shown you the oil that first I was like, mm, I don't like this. This is making me break out. You know, it was all fa fa fa. But no, actually, it's doing really good things and wonders to my skin. So I absolutely love it. So cannot wait to try this little guy. A body cream. Acai body cream from... What is this? Who are you? Sol Janeiro. So it's a Brazilian brand. And it's lovely in pink. Smells quite nice as well. Have not tried it before. This is a body cream, but feels quite rich, which I like. I hate watery creams. It's like I might not, as well not apply it at all. This is Scalp Revival Charcoal Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. So, um, this is like a shampoo that will basically exfoliate your scalp and get rid of any dry skin if you suffer from dandruff. Try to really, really cleanse your hair and like nourish them with a mask after. This is a perfect product to use. I, I love their products, by the way. I have used products with them before. Ooh. Seriously, can't wait to try it. We'll let you guys know how it goes. I have a micellar water from NYX. This is the micellar cleansing water with rose petals. Smells incredible. Haven't tried it yet, but it smells really, really good. I mean, it's just a micellar water. Like You can never sort of have enough micellar waters. I do love my Bioderma. But once in a while, I think it's nice to try something new. Then I have a cleanser from Liz Earl, and this is the Cleanse and Polish um, Hot Cloth Cleanser. I do have it, um, but I have the Eucalyptus one. This is the Lavender and Rose, and I thought, well, why not try this one? I mean, I'm so into cleansing, especially at the moment. I'll go like double cleanse, triple cleanse. Let's cleanse the heck out of our faces. No, let's not do that. But yeah, then I have a Elizabeth Arthen 8 Hour Miracle Hydrating Mist. A mist? I love a mist. So, okay, spray is pretty funny. Like, sprays into one spot and then you kind of feel all this cloud. So, what else do we have? I have a, another Liz Earl product and this is the Sheer Skin Tint Bronzing Fluid. It's meant to hydrate and live your skin with a radiant glow. So, it's a lovely, beautiful, bronzy bottle. And, oh yeah, I've opened it before just to see what it... So, yeah, it comes out in this kind of bronzy colour and it does give you a really nice golden glow. I think this could be nice, not just on the face, but maybe on your like hands, maybe shoulders, just to give you a bit of a shine. And maybe if I will fancy looking like a bronze goddess. Then I have another cleanser. This is a cleansing milk with iris extract from Dior. I don't really buy those fancy brand skincare. Ah, uh, this was given to me as a present, so this is why I have it, but I have not tried it yet. A uh, really big bottle of cleansing milk. I mean, once again, it's cleansing, so it's good, right? I like a cleansing milk, especially to remove any makeup from your eyes. That would be really good. What else do we have? I have two eye creams. I have the Mega Mushroom Skin Relief Eye Serum from Origins, which looks like that. A little green guy here. No idea, I haven't tried it yet at all. Actually, the pump, the pump is stuck. So, lovely white, lovely white cream. I mean, what can I say about it? I don't even know why I did it, because what can you tell by, by an eye cream just by pumping it onto your arm? But, you know, this is what I do, right? Let's see how it feels with my hand. Mmm, feels lovely, but anything pretty much feels doesn't feel sticky, so that, that, that's a good thing, I guess. And then the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. Got a lot of um, samples from Estee Lauder as well, from their Estee Edit um, makeup. This is the Hydrate and Glow. I don't know how to look in, like, normal size, but I have tried this. And I have to say it's quite nice, but you are left with, like, super duper glowing shiny skin so if you like that kind of you know highlighted look and things like that or looking oily like i am looking at the moment god damn it let's powder i can't believe how oily i'm looking anyway so yeah if you like that kind of shiny super shiny look it will look good on you so is that better well tiny bit better Ah, never mind. You know, guys, you've seen me worse, right? And this was actually it. Let's have a sip of tea.
let me know guys what products you want me to review and like let you know about because I know you don't want to hear about all of them some of them are just boring I mean missile water come on but some of them sound pretty exciting but yeah let me know what products you want me to concentrate on and tell you about because I will happily do so I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what kind of videos you guys want me to do more of I love you all very much. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.